So Jordan, to be um, named in the Holden Cup Team of the Year, what does it mean for you? Um, yeah, it's a massive honour. Um, I think at the start of the NYC career, that was sort of a goal. Um, and yeah, to, to actually do it, it's a um, yeah, big achievement for me. No, it's a very big honour. Um, really unexpected. Uh, when I found out last week, I was actually pretty surprised. But no, uh, very, very big honour for myself. Very honoured. Uh, I only played a handful of games this year. I've obviously I done my shoulder in the um, Origin game, so missed the back end, the good part of the season. But no, yeah, very honoured to be in the team. It's an honour, um, a privilege to be here. Um, didn't think I'd be here, but um, obviously, um, you know, they picked me out um, to be to be here today, and um, it's just a great great feeling to be recognised for the year. No, it's just awesome being around all these um, young talents and boys as well. So yeah, I'm just having fun. With. It's obviously a massive honour. There's been, over the past years, there's been great players to come through this team and, yeah, obviously, yeah. You mentioned that you made your NL, NRL debut a couple of seasons ago now. Is that still the goal for you to, to hit the, the first grade? Yeah, definitely. It was a long time ago now, um, but still, that's the, that's the ultimate goal. Like These, these um, little rewards along the way is, are awesome, but ultimately, you know, you want to have an NRL career at the end of the day and um, that's still my goal. And what would it mean for you to get your debut one day, maybe under um, Wayne Bennett? Oh, that'd be a massive privilege, especially to play under Wayne Bennett. But yeah, just get my debut, that's pretty much my goal since I was younger, so it'd be massive for me. And how much have you learnt off your mentor, Wayne Bennett? What's he like as a coach? Um, he's crazy, man. Yeah. He's, uh, he's just uh, inspiration when you talk to him. He's a good role model and yeah, no, you've just got to do the best you can for him. Don't want to let him down. So. Footy dreams, what, have you, what are you aspiring to now? Uh, my biggest goal in the future is to play Origin. Um, I've had little tastes of under 18s and 20s and that, but the big, biggest goal is to play oh, first debut and then try, try crack Origin. You're lucky enough to have actually made your NRL debut not long ago, but tell us about the circumstances around what happened. Um, yeah, I just um, went in for a tackle and um, coming out second best. Um, fingers just dislocated and um, the tendons come out and ligaments. Um, and it was come out through the fingers, so I was compound, so I had to go get surgery straight away. So it was a debut to remember. What's it been like achieving your dream, although it was kind of short-lived? Um, it was, I wasn't really nervous. Um, I was confident going into the game. Um, it was just when I went to warm up and it was just the atmosphere, you know, because you got to that, take that chance to look around the field and, and um, yeah, it was just a massive honour going out there and the nerves started kicking in before warm up and yeah. That was good. And you're studying um, outside of footy as well. Tell us a bit about that and how challenging it's been. Yeah, I so I do primary education. Um, yeah, it's just about getting the balance, I suppose. I do two subjects and um, managing that all right. It's just about you know scheduling it and preparing beforehand, so it all work it works out with training and. Uh, third year apprentice carpenter. Um, going for soon. Uh, work at Stepford Carpentry. So yeah, that's pretty good. The early mornings get me a bit, but nah, it's pretty good. I enjoy doing that sort of stuff. So it's something to look forward to look, um, dropping back to after footy. Off the field, I started, at the start of the year, I studied um, frontline management. So yeah, I sort of wanted to do a business course and our um, Warren Burks got me into uh, frontline management because he thought it'd be good for me to just, um, well, first step of business, you reckon? So. Probably going to lead into a bit of real estate next year and see where that takes me and yeah, see what happens. I'm a third or fourth year apprentice, I'm not too sure what I am now. Um, I just haven't been the TAFE, um, but um, I've done all my hours um, work, I just need to go do the TAFE side, which is hard to do because it has to be in week blocks, you know, I can't do it part time. So um, I'm just going to, I'm going to do that in the off season, um, obviously my hands are alright and um, I'll be able to get in the books and get it done. Um, I'm doing my plumbing apprenticeship which um, it can get tough with training as well, um, working and working full time. Um, it does get hard digging holes and stuff like that, but I suppose I've just got to put, put up with it because there's always got to be a life after football. And, you know, I chose plumbing, which was, um, yeah, my choice since the day, Dot, so yeah. And I guess, you know, how have you enjoyed playing this year? And although you lost on the weekend, you've still got one more game to go to try and get to that grand final spot. Yeah, uh, we're building nicely towards the, at the start of the year, but uh, a few injuries have sort of, um, stumbled us uh, towards the back end. Uh, we did lose last week, but uh, you know, there's still, we're not out of it yet and hopefully we can bounce back this week.